Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. Today, you are going to be excited. I'm telling you, you're going to be excited because we are creating a rainbow. Now, you have a variety of rainbow designs that people come up with, but I want to use a traditional balloon rainbow design. So I'm going with traditional colors. Some people have it where they use all pastel in these same colors and some people use one color in different shades to create their rainbow. But I decided if I'm going to do a first rainbow tutorial, I'm going to use traditional colors. I'm working with Qualitex. I have Qualitex in red in 11 inches orange in 11 inches i'm looking down so i can tell you exactly 11 inches in yellow 11 inches in green and then my last two the pale blue and the purple violet are going to be in five inches the whole trick to get your balloon arch your your rainbow to arch is to use different sizes and i'll walk you through as I do this so I'm gonna move the camera back so you can see my whole setup down here I have my pump I have my fishing line that I'm going to use to attach all the balloons and then we'll even make clouds so let's get started before I get on with the tutorial you can't do this without a balloon sizer if you don't have a sizer you can put two chairs side by side and measure the distance between the two chairs to get your size of your balloon and just put your balloon through that distance so that you can get your size you can size your balloons that way but i do have this not very inexpensive sizer that i bought on amazon i'll link it below if i can find it i've had it for a while but the reason i like it it's flexible but it comes apart so I have several pieces like you can see it has the sizes on there for each one so I'm going to assemble this they just click together not click but you insert like this part onto let's see it wouldn't work with this one so you find one that has the slots and then you just push this through on each side like so there you have an angle already so you just connect all the sizes this way and then you have your balloon size ready to go so I'm gonna do that off camera just to save time and then we'll start on with the tutorial so it's all connected and it's not as flimsy as it was on its own as long as you make sure you connect every single corner there are three of these slots in each corner so you want to make sure you connect all of them so we're gonna start with our smaller balloons which is our four and five so the four and the five so let's start inflating we're starting by inflating our purple and blue balloons of course I set my balloon sizer in such a way that I would have access to the four inches and the five inch sizer which is on top the purple balloon is going to be four inches and the blue balloon is going to be five inches now keep in mind both of these balloons are five inches so you'll notice that my blue balloon somewhat has an egg shape to it as i'm inflating it i realized it would have been best for me to use let's say a seven inch balloon to inflate to get the five inch but i don't have a seven inch balloon in blue in stock so what i end up doing here is slightly over inflating the blue compressing it as though i was trying to create an organic balloon make it more rounded and that worked well to get to reduce the cone shape of the blue it doesn't really affect the design but at least it makes it where it's it's close enough to the other shape 
to the shape of the other balloons. So with the balloon sizer, you want to make sure you're slightly moving that into the hole while deflating it, but not over deflating. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. It took so much time to get all these balloons inflated, but once I was done, I, then it was easy to just assemble everything. I'm using, I'm changing my size here because I'm switching colors to the green and the yellow. So the green you're going to inflate to six inches and the yellow you're going to inflate to seven. So just keep in mind that you start with four and with every color you add an inch. That makes it a lot easier to think about and you're not dealing with half sizes or anything like that. So we're on to the green and the yellow and it's a little confusing sometimes when you're in when you have let's say the yellow balloon in deflated to size and you're trying to size the green one sometimes you end up losing air in the yellow so remember that you want to hold on to that yellow balloon or whichever balloon you size first you want to hold on to that neck so that you're not losing any air. And also another thing is when you size it and it goes through the hole, when you're pulling it back out, make sure it's fitting snug around the size and it hasn't lost any air either. So just the, a couple of tips there for you. I forgot to tell you that I'm using 30 balloons for each color. So we're using a total of 180 balloons, not including the cloud we're going to make. So that's just a reference for you. So I counted after I did the purple and the blue balloons, then I ended up counting out the rest of the balloons out so that it's all set up. Another thing that I would do different is when i inflate the purple and blue and you don't have to do the purple and blue first whichever two colors you inflate first go ahead and assemble that before you go to the next color because what ends up happening and you see i'm scrambling through a pile of different balloons to find the ones i need to combine my garland together and you you understand this better later on now I'm switching the balloon sizer around because I'm moving on to the orange and the red. So since our yellow was seven inches, our orange is going to be eight and the red is going to be nine. Now these work perfectly with all the 11 inch balloons I'm using. One other option for the green and the yellow which are six and seven inches are you could use a 10 inch balloon for those as well so i just have always have more of the 11 inches in stock so that's why i'm using those because the green ended up being a little more firm than all the other balloons but it does work out just fine so i'm inflating or def inflating and deflating to size all the balloons and i'll show you how i assemble everything with the garlic with the rainbow arch and i'll give you tips on that as well once i had these balloons all assembled i thought about making a rainbow circle i thought if i doubled the number of balloons that I'm using, I could do two arches, combine them together, and I would have a balloon circle. Let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in seeing something like that and what shade of colors you would want to see. I think it would look pretty if you, if, if I did something like a specific shade of colors, but making it go from dark to light now i'm going to assemble the garland using some fishing line and i'm starting with the green and yellow so what you're doing is 
creating an X with the balloons. So you just want to wrap the fishing line first. You, your first pair of balloons, you want to make sure the fishing line is knotted nice and secure because that will hold your balloon throughout. So then you're just putting each balloon alternating the angle. So you're going in an X fashion opposite. So right, left, right, left, X. So now that that green one is towards the left of the screen, the one we just put, your next green is going to go towards the right side of the screen. And you'll just keep alternating that way until you're able to assemble. Now this first one worked out just fine. You'll see as I go further, it starts to cluster up a little, but not too bad. You see it worse with the rest and I get a little frustrated with the red and the orange, but you'll see that coming up. So you just keep alternating. Think of crisscrossing back and forth and just creating that pattern that way. But you have to make sure you're holding the balloons you've already assembled nice and secure so that you're not trying to you don't lose the hold of it because the fishing line is what is holding it in place. So you keep your hand on that fishing line and just use your opposite hand to attach the balloon. So as you can see, I'm reaching for, for the balloons as I go. The more balloons you're adding, it starts to create that curve, obviously because your 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 balloon sizes are different so each color has a different size so that's why you get that curve going on so it's twisting around i make sure that i show you different angles of me adding the balloon so that you can see see how i'm scrambling to find the balloons that i need to use here is a different angle so you're gonna put that twist and i'm showing you not that way this other way so you just alternate the balloon angle so you're going in an x fashion and you keep adding and you make sure you tie your fishing line nice and tight at the very end i'm adjusting that first set of balloons that ended up clumping up and that's our first arch next we are moving on to the orange and the red i'm making three knots to secure that first set of balloons and then you'll twist around, twist around, and you see them. I'll tell you the mistake I'm going to make with this one. So I'm adding, working pretty fast to get this done. And as I'm adding balloons, I notice that I'm not getting the arch shape. My orange balloons are not aligned. My red are not aligned. I pretty much have a perfect organic balloon garland and this is not what we're going for i try to twist that around to see if i can adjust the balloon so that they can align and everything is just clumped up and not adjusting like how the yellow and the green were so i end up just getting frustrated i'm trying to add more thinking i can adjust the whole thing later on and it just is not working. I spent quite some time on this. End up getting a little bit frustrated. I'm thinking I can just twist this around and it'll work. And no, I don't know if any of you have been able to guess so far the error I'm making. Why this is not working out. But oh my goodness. I decide now to set it aside, walk away, and move on to the purple and blue. And you can see the garland I was messing with towards that left side. We're just going to set it aside, kind of like how you can't find a solution to your problem. You just walk away, catch some air, and regroup later on. You can come back to it later on. Let's see if the purple and blue is going to cooperate with me or not, but I'm assembling the purple and blue. Same method as before, as we did with the green and the yellow. Twisting around, making a crisscross. 
and that is where I am. So the mistake I made with the orange and red is I made the fishing line too tight. So when you're putting the balloons together crisscross, you want to lightly assemble it and you'll see how easy I do it when I go back to connecting the orange and the red. So you want to be real loose, but still making sure you're wrapping that fishing line around because if you make it too tight, that's when you end up with a clump and a nice organic cluster. I'm tying off my purple and blue now. Again, a little bit too tight, but at least I have my arch. Now we're going to take apart this orange and red and start over. See if we can get it. At this point, I figured out that it was too tight. I had attached my fishing line too tight. So here you go. Watch how easy it ends up being. Just alternate crisscross and see how loose it is. You can even see a gap between the orange, like the one balloon to the next or every other balloon. You can see the the gap but see how it's getting all aligning perfectly so you're putting your balloon left right if you, if it doesn't work in your mind crisscross just think left right left right as you're attaching the balloons again I'm going to show you this at a different angle so you can see how I attach everything and you're really loose with that fishing line you don't tug on it you just crisscross and grab the next balloon. So that is the secret to getting this. Here's a different angle. So left, we're talking about our orange. So left and then right, then left again. And you keep doing that and you see how your arch is extending. This whole rainbow turned out way bigger than I thought it was going to. I put that backdrop in the back, the black one, because I wanted the rainbow to fit on it so that I can have the colors can all pop with what I was designing. But later on, my daughter, the 10 year old was saying, oh, you should have used blue. It would look like the sky. And I said, oh, I didn't think about that, but that was a great idea for her to give me. So here I am. She said, yeah, you should have asked me before you did the video, but you align all your arches that you make and you're going to use a rubber band to attach one balloon to the other. You're not going to attach the balloon that is closest. So you're attaching every other balloon. So we're going to attach all our reds to the yellow, making sure when you put the rubber band through you make sure it goes right to the very middle of the balloon where the necks are tied and you stretch it through i alternate as well which balloon i'm so i'm not tying every single balloon so you can just alternate another thing is you do want rubber bands that are not as big as the ones i'm using so that they're actually tied together because what i noticed later is you can still kind of see the rubber bands in between the balloons not very significantly so now i'm attaching our purple and blue so we're attaching the green to the purple so you want to skip every each balloon stretch that around the purple stretch it in between the blue and grab the next the next green balloon that follows so that's how you get them attached Another option here is to just use fishing line, but I knew that if I tried to use fishing line to gather this, I would get all tangled up in the fishing line. So I decide to just go with the rubber bands and it stays nice and secure, not going anywhere. You can't, you really can't see the rubber bands from this angle. Now we're going to make some clouds. No big deal here with the cloud. You're just creating a short organic balloon garland so that you can 
attached to the bottom i had a balloon there that was had a hole in it so i had to take that out but you just create different sizes with the white and just intertwine the balloon into the cluster just keep getting make it get longer and longer until you have what you need if this is your first time tuning into my channel i welcome you please consider joining our team here we create videos about all decor stuff balloons flowers and i show a lot of ways how i set up for events and show you how i decorate event spaces when i can so please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any videos and i always say if you have an idea of a decor thing in mind just leave it in the comments and i'll see if i can make that come to life for you but here we make our imagination a reality i created one cloud now i'm creating the second one and i will also create a couple of clusters of the five inches just to add more dimension and you see it really makes a difference on the cloud when you add that to the cloud you see that coming up here pretty soon so i'm just extending the balloon and putting everything together and now we're going to work on adding i'm changing my tip there so that i can create those little clusters for a better dimension not only that i'm trying to hide some of the spaces where you can see where i attached the white balloons like the link of the neck so i'm gonna do that so that it doesn't show i'm going to attach the rainbow to that backdrop as you can see i underestimated my rainbow if you want a smaller rainbow just decrease the size of your balloons and you have a smaller rainbow arch so i'm not trying not to be bothered here to go get another set of drapes to add and extend everything and i end up taking a better picture by just eliminating the backdrop as a whole my wall is gray so it kind of looks like a the rainbow is coming up from a a rainy day so that worked out as well i made this cloud a little too short my daughter was like oh you should extend it so i had to create another cluster of balloons just to add it so that it extends out that way so here i'm going to attach my other cloud pretty much you're just feeling for the necks on your rainbow colors pulling it towards the neck of your cloud and just attaching it and making sure that it fits nice and snug so any gaps or any because the rainbow is not exactly straight because of the different sizes so it just fits in well and finishes up the look so you definitely want to add that cloud so here you'll see how much of a difference the five inch clusters make with the whole design i'm creating more five inch clusters to add to the other side and see how plain it looks but then when you add the five inches it just creates a different dimension and makes it look fluffy like a cloud and here's the final look thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe thank you